What's going on everybody? Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Mondays are always the worst day in my opinion, but you know, there's only one of them a week, so I guess that's a good thing. Hey, I just wanted to touch base and actually do a quick video here showing you my next uh, project over the next uh, week or so. Um, I'm going to be messing around with this um, over this next week and going to do a finalized video on um, what I have come to a conclusion on this. Um, this has been recommended to me numerous times and I keep telling myself I got to give it a shot and we're going to give it a try and that's what I'm going to do. So for this next week I'm going to live in this uh, this particular window manager and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it at the end of the week. Uh, that being said, let's just go ahead and take a look at what window manager this is. So if we go ahead and launch a terminal and we zoom in a little bit, you can see right here I am in a little window manager called DK. And I gotta say, for the, I don't know, hour or so I've been running it as of right now, I'm a pretty big fan. Um, this is actually a pretty cool window manager. Um, obviously that remains to be seen uh, what my final verdict is going to be on it. Um, and we'll find that out here at the end of the week. But it's really kind of a cool setup. I like the way things work. I like the way it's configured. Um, so as of right now, I'm a fan. So I'll just kind of show you. You can tell I've got... Uh, uh, my basic window or my basic wallpaper like I had on my herbs lift setup and I've got my herbs lift bar showing and everything so I didn't do a lot of configuration there um, and I haven't done a lot of configuration on DK at all um, I've changed a couple of the key bindings and that's about it um, but basically what I've done is um, actually get it to be a working environment so I have my terminal I can launch alacrity it comes as ST from the uh, get-go if you don't have ST installed you'll have to install it um, but let's go ahead and launch into Brave here real quick. And let's search for um, Bitbucket and DK Window Manager. And that's going to give us the first option right there. And so if we go to the Bitbucket page for DK Window Manager, um, there's not a whole lot here, but it's pretty concise and gives you a pretty good idea of um, what you can do with it and um, how to do it. Um, there's obviously other stuff and it gets a little deeper uh, like it took me a minute to figure out how to get my bar to launch um, looked at trying to do it in the configuration file whether there's a way to or not um, I don't know um, but I just decided to use my X and RC so you can see here it shows for arch you need this here and for void you need this and Debian you need this I like this right here I like the fact that they specifically added a line in here for void I know we're a small uh, small piece of the pie when it comes to the Linux community but uh, us void users we uh, we like to play too so um, I like the fact that he's got this in here and kind of shows what you need to install there um, and then it just goes down here and shows you how to compile it. So you run the make command and then you edit your config.h and run make install. And then if you want to uninstall and you don't like it, you run make uninstall. Um, so basically it gives you the usage to start DK. You can run execute DK in your .x and RC. Uh, let's go ahead and open a window here. And we are going to vim into my .x init RC. And I don't usually use an X init RC because I use a display manager most of the time, but I think I might get away from a display manager and go strictly with the .x init RC and start everything with start X. Um, now, I like to run multiple window managers and stuff, so you might be asking, well, how do you do that? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and enter there. Let's zoom in and let's get rid of the nerd tree on the side there. But basically, what I have is I have this case statement right here. And I'm going to be kind of playing around with this to find a, maybe a better way to do it. But basically, when I want to log into my system, I log into a TTY or it boots into a TTY instead of having a display manager. I log in with my username and password, and then I do start x, dot x and rc, and then whichever one of these window managers I want to run. DWM, Herzlift, WM, Qtile, or DK. And then whatever selection I make, it executes the window manager. Most of them have auto start files that go along with them to auto start programs. Uh, DK so far what I've seen does not um, it could I just haven't gotten into the uh, nitty-gritty on it yet but so I basically start everything here in my dot X and at RC and that gets everything going my wallpaper uh, my compositor my network manager um, all of it uh, my polybar so it all launches and then the last line in that is the execute dbus which I can take this dbus session run out I know that now um, <laughs> 
um, and then launches user local bin DK. And that gets me into my working environment. So I'm going to be probably switching out of a display manager completely and going to just using Stardex, but that's another video for another day. So let's go ahead and close back out of there. Um, so basically you execute DK, um, you make your config file in home, your username dot config and then DK. There are sample configuration files in user sh user local share doc DK. Um, it has a script, so let's go ahead and take a look there. Let's go ahead and cd into user local share doc DK. And let's zoom in. Let's clear the screen. And if we do an ls, um, I've moved them, but there will be a sample DKRC here. And there's also a sample simple X hotkey daemon RC. And then you have some scripts here for some basic stuff like a, a, a script for running lemon bar. Um, I think a script for running DZIN. So let's cd into scripts real quick. Um, and do an ls. And you can see we've got a bar. We have uh, a couple other DZIN. We got gab alpha alpha border, we got layout. So these are just some scripts. We've got scratch right here for scratch pad. We all know how much I love scratch pads. I haven't gone through all these, so I'm not quite sure. This is just kind of a preliminary video showing you what I'm doing. Um, and like I said, we'll have a better video at the end, uh, at the end of a week or so of running DK. But uh, let's go ahead and go back to the second uh, workspace here. And basically you configure it there. You have to have simple X hotkey daemon because if we go back up here real quick, it's fully scriptable. It's got dynamic workspaces more dynamic tile layout. I'm going to show you something real quick because I really love the way the layout on this works, uh, the way the tiling and everything. Um, we've got fancy gaps, boards, layouts, and more, better support for mouse and floating windows, startup script for configuration and running programs. Okay, well, that's good to know, so I'll just have to figure that one out. We've got status uh, info is output to a file to use in bars or scripts. Um, no built-in extras, no bars, no font drawing or key bindings, nothing, so you need to have simple hotkey daemon for key bindings or something of the sort. And then it's got, uh, it says same support for ICCCM, EWMH and Motif. So let's go back down to where we were. Um, the DK command, this is real similar to something like BSPWM and Herb's Lift where you have uh, BSPC and Herb's client. Um, you're actually using this to actually control windows. Um, we have syntax outlines. So this shows you that white space, space or tab, quotation mark, an equal sign that means all of these are all equivalent setting equals value with no space setting value setting equals value in double quotes setting space equals space value in single quote quotes spe setting space value in double quotes and setting with a big tab and double quotes value so these are all the same that all perform the same function um, so you don't have to be too con concerned with uh, syntax um, <clears throat> and result in two tokens setting a value. So there you go. Uh, quotation exists in a way to preserve white space and avoid interpretation by the shell. Um, otherwise, we have no way of determining whether an argument is a continuation of the previous or beginning of the next. Consider the following. Um, so title equals open and we have the caret, open files and the dollar sign. Um, if the value being matched has quotes in it, they can be escaped. Um, so you can use the escape uh, character, which we all know is the backspace. Um, so we have some commands down here, dk command, and then you run the command. So to quit the window manager is, D, uh, is exit dk, restart, re-execute dk, um, and subcommands down here for windows. We got rules we can do and some subcommands. Now again, I'm just kind of going over this again briefly by my for myself as well because um, I haven't been in it for very long. Um, but this is just kind of a brush up. So again, it's on Bitbucket and it is uh, Nate. Not a Mia, not a Maya. Um, I'm gonna, I'm butchering that name, um, but it's uh, just look for Bitbucket and then DK Window Manager, and you should be able to find it. So that's what we got so far. Now I wanted to show you something real quick. So let's CD back home and let's CD into DK, which is in home Jake .config DK. And if we do an LS, you can see I've got my DKRC and the simple X hotkey daemon. Well, let's vim into DKRC and look at something real quick. Um, so right here, it's gonna run. Um, hotkeys. Um, I tried putting my polybar right in here and I even tried to write it as a script and it didn't, or as a function like this and it didn't work, or an if statement, excuse me, geez, I can't talk today. Um, and it didn't really seem to work. That's why I have it in the Xnet RC. Again, I haven't looked too hard and worked too hard on this yet. I've only been in it for a brief period of time. Um, so that might change. I might be able to, I might figure out what the auto start script is and we might change it. But um, we have border widths, 
uh, down here and stuff. So um, what I liked is right, one thing I was looking at, and it's just really cool. Um, I like this right here, DK command set, and we've got uh, workspace, and we have apply layout tile. So you do the tile, you can change this to how many you want in the master and how many you want in the stack, how many gaps, or how big the gaps are, and um, the split, whether you want a 50-50 split or a 55-45 split or whatever, and this that's M split, so that's master split, and then you have a stack split, which, let me show you, I've got that set to 45 because I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but if we look, and um, we have the master split at 55, so I should have a 55% screen for master and 45 for um, uh, stack. But then when I do the S split, the stack split, it's going to split it again. And it's really kind of cool the way, it how, uh, the way it does it. So if we look here, we've got the master and the stack at uh, 55 and 45. And let's launch another one and another one because then, the, like I said, the, uh, uh, the stack has three windows. It'll only open three windows on the stack. Now it's going to start another column. Now watch the split on this other column. Now it's split 45 for the stack. See, like I said right here, I have stack split at 45. So you can change these values to be whatever you want. Make the windows whatever size you want. And it just it's great. And it's just a really cool way to handle the, the tiling on, um, on DK. Um, now again, I don't usually have a lot of windows open on a single workspace. But it's just really neat the way this is handled. So I just I got to give them props for that because I really like that. So that being said, this is just kind of a brief introductory video, video on my plans here for the week. I'm going to be living in this, and I will be letting you know kind of at the end of the week or beginning of next week uh, what exactly I think of it overall as a window manager. So I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys are interested in learning about this great window manager. Um, well, so far, so far, so good. Um, if anything comes up, that'll change. But um, as of right now, it just seems to be a, it seems to be a pretty solid um, choice for window managers. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe this week and uh, don't work too hard. All right. You guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your evening. God bless. Love you all.